Hi Aries, Aries Sun, Aries Rising and Aries Moon. Welcome to, tarot, to your Tarot Video Scope for August 2018 by Ama. Please remember to also listen to the video for your rising sign and for your moon sign because additional messages will always show up for you through your rising sign and through your moon sign. Always remember, these are general readings. If you like to schedule your very own private consultation with me, please email me at amalightworker at gmail.com and visit my website www.amalightworker.com. I am linking all of my contact information, my website and my email in the show more description box down here below. For those of you who would like to know more, I did an Akashic reading for your sign with more advice and predictions from the Akashic records. And for those of you who are interested for download and purchase, the link is down here below in the show more description box. There will be a workshop that will take place in August in uh, Massachusetts. And for those of you who are interested, uh, the dates are August 21st and August 22nd, Wednesday and Thursday afternoon, starting from 6.30. I will be posting additional information for those of you who are interested. It's going to be a workshop on teaching you how to clear your own uh, energy. So again, I will be posting additional information about it down here below in the show more description box. Areas for your reading for August. The general feelings that I am picking up have to deal with you moving forward in some ways. However, you may still be holding on to some of your emotions. I have a sense that a lot of things will now start to go as... Um, a, uh, as they should, okay as predicted but sometimes you just need to get out of your way so that these can happen there is a sense of family and friends important things happening with family and friends uh some kind of a transformation that is now manifesting transforming your work finances may feel a little bit ups and downs but you're going to have some significant new beginning in terms of work, work-related situations, or even a business or being self-employed. I will now break this down one by one. The first card that wanted to show up for you is the Nine of Wands. To me, the Nine of Wands, it means tying up loose ends. Do not surrender. One last push. Getting your ducks in a row before you get ready to start some kind of an action. So you're getting ready to start some kind of an action, and that's why you're putting your ducks in a row. Another meaning of the Nine of Wands, to me, it also means being suspicious of someone or something. For some of you, you have been feeling either yucky, a little bit weird, a little bit non-trusting of someone. This could be a person with whom, in some ways, you had to deal business with. Maybe this was a client through work. Somebody who maybe tried to join forces with you into some kind of a business endeavor so that you can generate uh, money. For other areas, this person may be a friend to you. However, you kind of started to grow apart, emotionally apart, and some of you may get the feeling that maybe it's time for you now to start attracting new friends in your life, to start belonging to a new social group, because in some ways you have evolved and transformed. Some of you are, go are fixing stuff, you may be helping other people, maybe fixing stuff for them in their home. 
you may be preoccupied with uh, fixing and repairing stuff around your home. For some of you, this seems to have a good energy because for some of you, it means that you are now settling into some kind of a new place. This could be a new home for you, but some of you may also be settling now in a new place of work, a new place of employment, so that could be a new job for some of you, or maybe you have a business, you moved your business, you opened a new location, or maybe you're just starting up a business from the ground and there are some repairs and work involved in it. Communications are going to be important, communications of all kinds, among friends, among uh, family, particularly when it comes to signing some important contracts and reaching some important agreement. So when you reach an agreement, doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be a written agreement. And I also get the sense that some of you here are training with some, you are exercising, I don't know, exercising with weights maybe, maybe doing Tai Chi, maybe exercising with other uh, instruments or using different kinds of tools and instruments to exercise. For some of you, I get a sense that you are full on into some kind of a training mode, exercising. In other words, you're putting a lot of energy into making better anything that you know you need to make better, whether it is your health, your social groups that you belong to, your work, your career, your emotions, your family. So you are simply focusing a lot of energy, okay? And you're doing a lot of practical work, okay? To heal whatever this situation is uh, to you. The next card is the Ace of uh, Wands. This is a good card. To me, it means a breakthrough, new awareness, victory, success. Some kind of a sudden news, sudden communication, sudden information will show up for you almost out of nowhere. It's going to make you stop in your tracks. It's going to make you think. It's going to make you rethink and reconsider. Okay? Uh, it is something that is exciting. For some of you, it could be that job offer, okay, that you have been waiting for. For other ones, it's going to be that opportunity that you have been praying, that opportunity that you have been seeking, that opportunity that you have been trying to attract to maybe go in a different direction, either with your career or with your business. Uh, new people are going to show up for you and maybe they're going to give you ideas, they're going to give you guidance, they may offer you this job, okay, they may uh, help you in other ways, okay, so that you can shift the direction of your career. Uh, I have also have a sense that for some of you, this has to deal with some kind of a sudden proposal. Now, this is not a card that traditionally denotes a proposal, but this is what I keep hearing through the spirit and my spirit guides, that for some of you, this is an exciting opportunity because it has to deal with some kind of a proposal, okay? A proposal being extended to you. I get a sense that some of you could be working out the last little details, okay, to reach some kind of agreement around some kind of a property. It could be about a land that you own, a property that you own, um, and I get a sense of a sale finally going through because I get a sense that a lot of you are now going to start to breathe easy because uh, it was a situation that was weighing on your shoulders and now you can start to breathe easy easier because uh, you reach this agreement, this settlement, or this sale, okay, when it comes to this uh, property or uh, lens. So I get a sense of for other areas. It's not so much about you moving in a new space physically, 
For other Aries, it has to deal with a new feeling. Like you are, you are in a completely new space emotionally. You are going to start to see things clearly, okay? Because maybe you had to go through some kind of a misunderstandings, or maybe you had to go through some delays. Now I have a sense that you do feel a little bit, a lot more relaxed, and you may also enjoy spending some time alone, maybe meditating, maybe simply resting and recuperating. But there is a sense that your hard work is starting to pay off, and now you need to, to, uh, to rest a little bit because you have been working uh, so uh, hard. The next card that you have is the Five of Cups. To me, it means crying over spilled milk. It also means feeling disappointed or heartbroken because maybe you thought that the outcome was going to be more. So notice how you and your emotions here, this is your, in, your interpretation of the situation. Sometimes you tend to see the glass half empty instead of seeing the glass half, um, half full. I have a sense that even though things are going uh, like they should, some of you may feel a little bit disappointed by people around you, by how they are reacting toward you, comments they are making, um, and maybe it has to deal with that situation for those areas whose that situation applies, that maybe you felt a little bit suspicious of someone or a situation. Some of you are just going to decide and follow through with your decision because you're going to decide that it's now time for you to either seek a new relationship, if, if that's the case, uh, try to find new friends and new friendships, uh, try to find meaning in a new way. Some of you have been struggling with that feeling of emptiness, okay, with trying to find your purpose, things that would give you a deeper meaning. Uh, what are you here to do? There is a sense that now you are going to be guided toward finding the things that give you more meaning, toward finding a relationship maybe that will give you more meaning, that you will make you feel uh, fulfilled. So I get a sense of some of you reaching an end of some kind of a spiritual journey because now you are ready to seek a new beginning in this spiritual uh, journey. Don't walk away from a situation that gets complicated. Don't, awake way, don't walk away from this person or these people without having the courage to confront them, without having the courage to at least try to explain, try to negotiate, try to defend yourself, stand your ground, or trying to clarify something. Uh, I hope that this is making sense to some of you. So before you decide that this is it, it's done, it's over, I'm walking out of here, or before you decide to put an end to a relationship or a friendship, make sure that you did your part and at least you tried to communicate and you did your best to clarify some circumstance. If you suspected of someone, maybe in the past, maybe weeks or months ago, you may have a tendency now to start being suspicious of this person or this circumstance around this person again. You're going to have the feeling that this person, it's, uh, it's not a person to be trusted when it comes to uh, money. If you are involved into some kind of a legal situation, you may have a tendency to change lawyers. If you are working with a real estate agent, you may have a tendency to change your real estate uh, agent. So if you're working with a doctor, you may have a tendency to change your doctor. If you're working with a personal trainer, you may have a tendency to change your personal trainer. So you're going to make a decision to change something, maybe uh, help that you hired. 
uh, professionals that you hire to consult or to uh, help you, you're going to have a tendency to maybe drop them and hire uh, new uh, people. The next card that you have is from the Egyptian Oracle cards, and this is the Ace of Hearts. So in the picture is depicted the royal family, okay? So it means the meaning of the card is uh, this is the royal uh, family among uh, friends in good company, family having good time together. However, it's very important that you learn to speak from your heart because the need to clarify a situation will be there, maybe due to some misunderstanding, miscommunication. This could be completely something that has to deal with you, with mistrust, like maybe you don't trust yourself, maybe you don't trust your choice, maybe you don't trust your gifts, your talents, and your abilities. Where there has been uncertainty, you need to have a very open-hearted conversation with family, with a partner that you trust, okay? Because this is how you're going to regain the certainty that you are seeking. If there has been a situation where uh, a family circumstance, in a family circumstance where maybe you need to talk things through, this is the chance for you to do that. So anything that maybe you are trying to communicate, whether you are trying to communicate a message to your partner, your spouse, your family, an audience, if you have an audience, try to speak from your heart. If you speak from your heart, things are going to be easier. You are now getting ready to attract new followers, a new audience, new clients. If you deal with sales, you are going to notice some kind of an increase in uh, your sales. I also get the sense that some of you, this may have to deal with something around the business. Either someone in the family has a business, you're trying to have a business, or this is a family business. There's going to be some kind of a meeting, people talking and exchanging ideas. There's going to be some changes, maybe very tiny little minor changes, maybe how people pay, you know, what methods you use to get um, to get paid is going to change. But that is going to be a tiny little change, but it's going to boost this business so much, it's going to facilitate uh, also the family circumstance. So it is about you regaining or establishing a new balance between your work, your personal time, your family, money in, money out, trying to reestablish some kind of a balance. Even though some of you may not be so sure about a financial situation, you're going to have some questions, you're not going to be so sure about, you're going to have a lot of questions and uncertainties about a financial situation, Things are going to work out, even though financially there's some circumstance that um, it's going to affect your finances because finances may feel a little bit up and down. But at the end, you are going to be OK. So you could be getting closer with some people as a result of you speaking from your heart and trying to clarify the misunderstanding or trying to clarify the uh, situation. Uh, there could be some kind of a gathering, maybe because it could be related to that certain proposal that could happen to some of you, could be a business proposal, could be a marriage proposal, could be whatever kind of proposal, but there's going to be for some of you, some kind of a very low key, small celebration, maybe just in the um, uh, family and they, and the spirit is urging you to focus on the good time, to remember the good time, to focus on gratitude, to be grateful, focus on what you have and be grateful for what you have. And no matter how you may feel that you are derailed from your true purpose, from your true path in life, rest assured that before you know it, you are going to be redirected again in the right path. 
I hope that this is making sense to you. If you'd like to know more, click in the link down here below. That's going to take you to the Vimeo videos uh, for download and purchase if you're interested. And uh, the Vimeo videos will give you an Akashic reading from uh, me with more, with more predictions and advice from the Akashic records. Email me for a private reading, amalightworker at gmail.com. Visit my website, www.amalightworker.com. Email me if you want to participate in my VIP coaching program. It is a personalized 12 weeks program. And also, if you have any questions about the upcoming workshop that is going to take place in Braintree, Massachusetts on August 21st and 22nd, Wednesday and Thursday, starting from 6 uh, 30, where I'm going to teach you how to clear your uh, energy. So, email me with questions, email me to book. I'm happy uh, to do that, and I will reconnect with you in the next video. Thank you, Aries. Bye.